What is up everyone? Welcome back to the Murphy Lawn Care channel. All you beautiful people on YouTube and I'm a beautiful people today. Got the beard all fixed up. Nice clean hat on and I'm not in a uniform. My day off. And we're going to make this day great because I'm going to be finally giving you the review of the Bradley B52 standard mower or as mine is called the Cherry Bomb. That's right. I gave mine the nickname of the Cherry Bomb. This right here was purchased in late April because we had picked up a couple, uh, we uh, one commercial and then a couple residential properties to where they had hills and slopes that were at a grade that the ZTHD Grayley that I was running with, that was at one time my main mower, couldn't hold. It's a sit down mower um, and it just couldn't hold the hills and it got to where it really wasn't safe to try to mow those properties with that mower. And at that time we were also running a Bradley 36 um same brand but it was a 36 and that's what had introduced me to standards before that i was kind of against standards i just felt like standing up all day would wear you out so far running a standard has really done nothing but make me more energetic and really kind of keep me alive through the day i find myself on the days i use the gravely kind of giving out a little earlier in the day than i do if i'm on the bradley um but this review is coming with having 141 hours I wanted to get some actual time on this mower before I give you a review. I know you can go find people reviewing a product they just got in the mail and open. And I know that kind of helps you know what's coming in the box and what you're actually going to get. But at the same time, it also just proves that they know how to read the brochure. It's not telling you how that product's going to last or anything like that. This one right here, I can tell you exactly what you're going to run into. Have had a couple small issues with this mower, but all in all, it's actually been a great machine and it is really my business it is what makes my business run before we get started though i want to say and i want to give a shout out to simon at, um bradley mowers he is their engineer and just bradley in general they're looking out for the little man and they're they're selling mowers at a reasonable price and anytime i've had an issue simon has helped me like immediately like just bam 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 he is awesome and I know he's done that for a bunch of other people too. They stand behind their product. I think they really love what they do and they really care about what they're doing. And they take a sense of pride in their machinery and, and in what they do and in their name. You know, they're not like a lot. You know, you have a lot of brands out there that will sell you stuff just based off their name. And if something happens, you got to go through hell and high water to get it fixed. And it was, it has not been that way with Bradley. But I haven't had severe issues with this mower. But the things I have had an issue with, I am going to be really honest with my review. The thing that I've had an issue with, I will go over. Now, first and foremost, mine does not have the Vanguard engine. That is one thing that I wanted on this. They didn't have it in stock at the time, and I really needed this mower. Um, so I settled for what would be considered the upgraded commercial turf. It's the CX2700, uh, 27 horsepower. Now, I will tell you, this whole cyclonic air system that Briggs & Stratton does is an absolute gimmick. It is junk. They did that just to get away from having to spend the extra money uh, by giving you the, the Donaldson double air filter. It's the commercial air box that you see on commercial mowers. Uh, that was This was their way of making you thinking or that you're getting a similar system um, and, and them saving some money, but you're, you're not getting nothing similar. So I can get it on, if it's really dry, like right now, we haven't had rain in a little bit. I can get about a week and a half or two weeks, and if I don't clean this filter, the mower will start running funny, um, where it's having trouble pulling in air, and it's starting to run rich because it's getting more fuel than it can pull in air. Um, so I usually clean this thing at least once a week. Um, that is, that's one thing that does kind of aggravate me about it. <clears throat> but other than that, as far as the engine goes, that's really the only issue I have had. I do like these engines and the way they're set up. It's easy to get to the oil filter. Um, it's simple to put oil in it. The one thing that I will say, maybe I'm just a goober. Um, when the oil drain, the way that it's set up, as you see this, Val, let me get you down in there real quick. As you see down in there, there's really no way to get that puppy out of there to run it even down through there to drain your oil. So I have to pump the oil out with an oil pump that I have. Uh, and what I do is I just run it down the dipstick hole. I kind of put the mower at an angle where it'll run all the oil back toward there. Um, I would like to see that done a little differently. That has been kind of a headache. First oil change was a little weird, but luckily I am a mechanic. Um, so I do have special tools, which has made that a lot easier. And if you want one of those systems, you can just go to AutoZone, pick up a similar type system, um, and it works really well. One thing that I have had a lot of issues out of this mower, haven't had one in a while, but is the tires. Now, I know my Gravely ZTHD uses Kenda tires. This uses a brand called Wanda. I've, I've never heard of Wanda. 
Um, and the only original tire on this mower is that back tire right there. That's the only one that has never gave me an issue. Now that I'm saying that, it'll give me an issue probably this week. Um, every other tire has been replaced. And this one already has a patch in it. I don't know if where you're going to be able to see it. But this one has a patch in it. I can't find it right now, but it does have a patch in it. And this one right here already has another patch in it on the sidewall. I know that you're not supposed to patch a sidewall. It's not a car, so it doesn't really mean the same thing. Um, the other, other little issue that I had, now I do grease this regularly, but I did kind of notice something when I did this, is these spindles, you'll start having a hard time turning, and these spindles will get kind of tight when you try to turn, like they're, they're dry. Uh, you got to really fill these things up with grease for it to push it down into the bearing. Um, so I got this from Simon and it does work. I just pop the caps off, shoot a little WD-40 in there, push some grease down in that bearing and it's good. I haven't had an issue out of it since, but that's really the only other issue that I had. When I reached out to him about the spindle, he sent me this whole arm, this whole four and an extra tire. Um, not even knowing that it needed that, he went ahead and sent that to me just in case that didn't fix my issue or it temporarily fixed the issue and it came back. Um, so huge shout out to Simon. Dude has been absolutely awesome. And then the other issue that I had, we thought the PTO had went out on this machine and it just so happens the spring tensioner for the blade belt had broke. That is the only thing I actually broke. I've never actually had downtime other than that. Um, and well, except when I was waiting on that one tire. Uh, but that's the only thing that happened. Took it to the dealer. Dealer got us back up and going. Had I known that's what it was, I could have fixed it here. And I honestly could have rigged up something just to limp it through that week. But I didn't know, and I assumed it was a PTO. Simon got with the dealer and said, look, man, this guy really needs his mower back. We can expedite that. And he is he, just awesome, man. I love Bradley. Um, I back this brand with, like, everything. Absolutely love him. Another thing, now, I don't know. This is, this is me. I did watch where it showed at the expo. They were talking about these pads being, like, super tough. Like, can't cut them or whatever. Uh, mine has ripped here. I don't know if you can see that. And then on the back, it's got some rips and tears. Um, I don't really care. I would love to see Bradley come out like a really, really nice cover where they're like, kind of like what Skag does on those. I think that would really up the ante and, and give like a nice professional, like more solid look to their mowers. Um, I know I'm not a Skag fan. Sue me. I'm just not a Skag fan. They have one of the best looking pads there is though. I absolutely love the way they have the, the, the natural leather look and everything on the back, the grain, I love that. But let me give you some positives about this mower. It does have the ZT3400 hydros, and I have not found one situation where there wasn't enough torque um, to really throw this mower around and do what I needed to do. It has been absolutely fantastic. It starts every time. It just gets the job done, and this is my primary mower. If nothing else is on that trailer, this one is on the trailer. And it has really, really got me through it. Um, as far as cut quality, it leaves amazing stripes. Nice, clean cut. Um, even when I've gotten where the blades are kind of wore out, I had a trouble. Had some trouble getting the blades that I wanted this past time, so I did run my blades a little longer. Um, they were getting where I couldn't really get a good sharp on. There's a bunch of nicks out of the blades. It was still cutting beautifully. Um, if you had known the blades were just junk, you would. You, that's the only way you'd have known. Uh, as far as the cut... It still looked amazing. Um, we do have brand new blades on this puppy now. And we're about to get a set of mulchers on the way. I actually about to get three sets of mulchers. We're getting ready for leaf season. Um, one thing I will say, uh, the only thing on this that I would want re-engineered, maybe a little bit of the baffling on the mower deck. When it gets rain, when you're on wet grass, this thing does clog up a little bit. Like it, not the best in wet grass. The gravely can keep going through. The, the mower deck on it's just cleaning out real good, doesn't clog up, and this one will clog up. Um, you gotta go a lot slower when it's wet grass. Um, heavy due to just wet grass, it does struggle. Um, got, now, sharp blades do help this, but it doesn't solve the issue. But now I'm also running ultra high lifts, which are helping hold it to the top of the pan. Now that is part of the issue. If I was running mulching blades, I do think it would help that issue. Not 110%, but I, I do think it would at least help the issue but one thing that i did notice on this mower that was different than the 36 just because where it's located this muffler is right here beside where you adjust your blade uh, your deck height um 
Now, I do have some properties where on that property, there are multiple heights that I need to cut the grass. Maybe one part's Bermuda, one part's fescue. Um, if you've run this thing more than 10 minutes, that muffler will get this thing hotter than Hades. And then you got to grab it. And then you don't have to grab it. You got to press this button. And uh, that thing likes to get pretty warm. Um, I would like to see maybe like a heat shield on the back of this thing right here somewhere. Just kind of keeping some of that heat off there. Other than that, I mean, look, it's going to happen. There's no such thing as a perfect situation. Um, one thing I do love about Bradley, though, and I don't see this on a lot of mowers no more. I know everything on the Gravely is sealed, and that's good right now, but if something goes bad, it's got to be just straight up replaced. They put grease fittings on pretty much everything. You got grease fittings here. You got a grease fitting here. You got a grease fitting back. You can't see it. There's one back in here. There's grease fittings everywhere on the opposite side in the same place. Uh, there's one under here, I believe. I can't remember what it's for. You got grease fittings up in here as you can see i've already greased these right here this morning and um still still a little squeaky but it's all right it just gives it character that's that's what it is now if i'm correct this is the five gallon fuel cell that it has or i think it's a five and a half gallon and i will say the one thing about the bradley it is a 27 horsepower and the zthd is a 24 thing is a little thirsty um if i fill both the mowers up at the same time and do about the same amount of work I'll have just under a third of a tank left in the Gravely. And this thing will be slap out. Um, but now this is heavier than the Gravely. I, don't, I think it's like 100 pounds heavier than the Gravely. It might not be. I, I looked that up and uh, I can't remember 100%. It is a little heavier than the Gravely though. Um, it does have bigger hydraulics. So it is having to work a little harder. Um, but other than that, it is just a little thirstier than the Gravely. Once again, it's three more horsepower. Kind of to be expected. It's not going to be as fuel efficient. But it is an absolutely fantastic mower. And one of the things that I hated on the 36 has been improved on this one. On the 36, this switch was so freaking sensitive. On this one right now, you practically have to have this lever all the way up before it starts trying to choke the motor down and stuff like that. And um, other than that, man, this has been a freaking awesome mower. Um, this right here is, you know, Murphy Lawn Care. This thing is Murphy Lawn Care. This is what does 99% of my work. Um, really, the only reason the Gravely goes out is when me and Pop work together. He's a little older. He needs to sit down, and we'll bring both of them out. But this right here has really allowed me to run my business um, and, and get properties I couldn't have got because I can handle heels now. And a lot of that's also brought to the fact by Bradley doesn't go out there and charge an arm and a leg for these things. You know, you know some of these mowers, they're, they're 15 grand. Um, this one right here, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys, I paid five nine out the door. Uh, I think it was like... Five nine sixty four five five thousand nine hundred sixty four dollars now that was cash i did not finance i don't finance anything uh, if i can help it you know sometimes it has to happen um, but other than that guys i would highly recommend you get a bradley anything um even if you get a one out of a million mowers that has a lot of issues bradley's going to stand behind it they're going to take care of you and they're going to get that issue fixed for you where a lot of other brands might leave you in the dark and make you jump through a lot of hoops to do that Bradley will not do that. I promise you. They are absolute stand-up guys. They are awesome over there. Um, and I, I know I made a video saying that Gravely is probably all I'll ever run. But I really, after the experiences that I've had with Bradley, I do believe Bradley is going to be the permanent machine for Murphy Lawn Care. Um, I really do. I really love the guys over there. I would love to be part of that somehow. Don't know how that would work, but I would. I really stand behind what they do. And... Um, it's just a great machine. One more thing before I go that I absolutely love, and this I don't have my 36 to show you, but raising the deck on this because of the helpers that this thing has, it's actually slightly easier to raise this deck than it was on the 36. So I remember at 36 didn't have helpers. Um, but this thing has, guys. It's been an awesome machine. I highly recommend if uh, you're looking to get a mower, you know, if you even if you've been in it a while, I get people stop and ask me all the time around me. They say, man, how you like those Bradleys? I'm starting to hear good things about it. Dude, they're awesome. They're absolutely awesome. But um, anyways, guys, if you got any questions that I didn't answer, please drop them in the comment section below. In, other than that, guys, there's a button that looks like this. It's thumbs up. You need to hit that button. There's also a nice, pretty, shiny red button down there. All the cool kids are hitting it. I know you want to be cool, too. I hit as many of them as I can because I'm cool. And uh, it says subscribe. And I'd love it if you hit that. And we will catch you on the next one. Catch you later, guys.